We need to educate our patients about the provocative factors because it could be as simple as changing some of those provocative factors, reducing the amount of time spent in compression, um, get them moving and we can get a great result. If they're not aware of these things that may be making it worse, every time I'm sleeping or laying on my side, it's worse. Well, have you tried sleeping supine with a pillow underneath your knees? Or if you have to lay on your side, have you tried putting a pillow between your knees? Anything that we can do to reduce the amount of ad adduction. Um, and tendons are slow to progress. So um, if we progress them too fast, they might end up moving a little bit like this. Okay, so uh, tendons don't like compression and they don't like rapid change. All right, we've got to be fairly slow with the way that we, um, we uh, modify exercise and movement. So then you get this over-enthusiastic patient that comes in. I felt great after my treatment, um, but they didn't remove provocative factors. They didn't go through the appropriate recovery and progressive loading. So they felt good. I just went out and did a quick 20K run because it wasn't hurting. Okay, so it might feel good at the time, but you gotta be aware of that 24 hour pain. And that's another um, useful thing to educate your patients about as far as their, how they can manage their own load is how does it feel the next day? Because if, if it's worse the next day, it's okay. We just need to modify that a little bit. Let's just turn it down. Not completely stop, just modify it. And then you've got the other patients that come in, they go, I tried exercise and it just didn't work.